Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Xcode to make a simple C program. So I'm going to start by launching Xcode. So I'm going to go into my applications and launch Xcode. So I've installed X Xcode. Xcode is an IDE, which means it's an integrated development environment. That means that it has a word processor to edit your plain text, which is your code. It has a compiler to go through your code and make sure that it is accurate. It has a linker to link it with the other libraries and it can create the full running application. So to create a project, you, you click Create Project. So I can go back and uh, show you again that I launched Xcode and I just want to create a new Xcode project. So I create my new Xcode project. Keep in mind that for programming in C, each project has its own source code file. So if you're working on one project, like a number guessing game, that complete project has one source code file. And then if you're working on another project, like a calculator to translate miles to kilometers, that project is going to have its own source code file. Obviously, you can copy and paste the source code file from one project to another, but that completely changes the project and the application. That's the point. So once I open it, I want to make sure I'm doing an application. I am on my uh, laptop. I'm going to make sure it's a command line tool. App, uh, that's what I'm creating. And there's a lot of other tools in here. Uh, and I'm sure this is even an old version of Xcode. So now I'm going to name my product name. My product name, I'm going to call this January 2021. This is the directory or the project folder that's going to be created on my computer. My organization is Tammy. My organization identifier is programs. I could say I can name these whatever I want. These are just identifiers for my project. But the main folder that's going to be created is this one right here. This it, I'll show you after. The other important thing is I need to make sure I collect I select the correct language. I'm going to be doing C, so I want to make sure that I collect, I select language C. I click next. So now what, now I have the ability to navigate where I would like to place this on my computer. And I cleaned off my desktop, so I'm going to create this and place it on my desktop. Now what Xcode does is it, I don't have to add the source code file to my project. Xcode automatically gives me a source code file and names it main.c. If you are taking my class, you're going to have to rename that file before submitting, but it's very easy. You just navigate into the folder and rename it. Now, if I want to just do my first program, all I have to do to change it for my class is to remove the main function arguments. We do that in this class. We do not do command line arguments in our main function, but that is something that can be done. But uh, Right now, we're just getting started in Intro to Programming, so we're going to use a main function that does not take any arguments. So then I go up here and I click on this. This does uh, the three-step process. It compiles the code. If the code works, it turns my code into an object and links it to the other things that are needed to make it run, and then creates a running application. So down here is the output window, so it was able to execute. Now if I have an error, like I leave off a semicolon or something, when I click here, it's going to tell me that the build failed because it was not able to compile the code. And it's going to give me some feedback on where the problem is. So then I can fix this, or get help if I don't know how to fix it, and we will run it again. So that's a basic program. Now I also wanted to show you where to find it so I can navigate to my desktop. And here is the folder that was created by the um, Xcode. And inside of this folder, there is my source code. So um, Apple does not give you all, a lot of, all of the information. This is the project if I wanted to relaunch my project and work on it later. But um, inside here, it just... Uh, gives me my source code file. So if I wanted to submit this, I can um, copy it and paste it somewhere, wherever I want. And, whoops, go back here. So if I said your the name of your source code file should be hello.c, 
I can rename it hello.c. I don't recommend renaming it in your project, but um, I can just copy it and take it somewhere. It's just a text file. If I can open this with text edit and it's plain text, and that's what you're going to submit for your uh, assignments in my course. You have to navigate in here, find the source code file, and submit it. Now, if I like this project and I wanted to make a new project, because this one I want to keep working on, this is my January 2021 project, so I do want to do a, a, um, a metric project, I could just make a new project, so I would just say file, oops, file new project, and now I want to make this new project, command line tool, next. This project is going to be a metric converter, whatever, a, whatever, doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's what I'm naming it, and I'm, it's a language C, it's still going to be the same identifier, that's fine, and now I'm going to put this on my desktop, and now I have a different main function here that I can edit and work with. So now I just go here because I downloaded something to show you in my downloads. And I'm going to convert, con open this with text edit. So this is just, I don't want to open it with Xcode. I'm going to open it with text edit. I'm going to open it with text edit. And so I'm going to select it and paste it in here. So this is my metric converter, whatever it could be, kilometer converter. I just tried to come up with a name really quick. So this is different code, a whole different project, still called main.c, but if I, navig if I navigate here, you will see that on my desktop, I have my January 2021 project, and the main.c is just the hello world. Oh, let's get rid of that. And the main.c is just hello world. And my other project, my metric converter, that main.c, I wonder if it's, uh, it might not have saved it yet because I haven't, yep, that is a kilometer. But I have not created the, I don't have a project for this because I haven't compiled and built it. So now I'm going to go back here build it, and here is my output window, enter the distance in miles, 43 miles is 69.19 kilometers. So this code is working. So I hope that will help you uh, to get started using Xcode, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and send me an email.